When news first broke about Channing Tatum and Zoe Kravitz's split, it caught many of us off guard. They were seemingly in love, not just privately, but publicly as well. They were engaged to be married. They were together for three years and then it's over. And immediately following these initial reports of their split, new information came out as to what was the cause of it. They grew apart. They weren't on the same page. Puh and Lee's. <laughs> I wasn't buying either of those excuses. And I can acknowledge when I'm wrong. I perhaps incorrectly assumed that Channing Tatum was to blame. And maybe he is, but maybe the word blame isn't the best to describe what happened that caused them to go their separate ways. We've now gotten new information in a just released report from People Magazine, whom I believe to be very credible. They want us to believe, and I think it might be true, that, quote, the split is amicable. Translation, nobody cheated. Okay, that's what amicable means. Nobody cheated. It wasn't this dramatic end. But I don't like this next quote. They realize they're at different stages in life. What does that mean? We've got an answer. According to people, this well-placed source says, quote, Channing spends a lot of time in Los Angeles because of his daughter, but Zoe prefers New York City. And that is very true. And she's been very public this week. Earlier in the week, she was photographed by the paparazzi. And just last night, she was partying with friends at a Halloween party and posing for photographs. She's not sad. She's, or maybe she is and just... Ladies, if you just ended a relationship, are you going to distract yourself with a lot of public outings or are you wanna, wanting to stay home and be a little bit more introspective? What's the best course of action or the most common one? But this excuse, I actually believe his daughter and just the tiring of the back and forth. Like I, I can imagine a long distance relationship or one where you're not both in the same city the majority of the time, that, that's draining. That's not ideal, right? And just to prove how amicable things are, as I mentioned to you earlier in this week, the two of them are gonna star in a new movie together and a source tells people they will continue to work together and are excited about a new project. They both love filming and creating. Channing has a lot of respect for Zoe's focus and passion. And you know what that just told me? The information that we have gotten in this report is one-sided. What we have learned is coming from Channing Tatum's side, his publicist most likely, or his manager, or maybe even Channing himself. It is possible that if we were to speak to a Zoe Kravitz source, she might have a very different take on why their relationship imploded. Or maybe it wasn't an implosion. It might have been more of a fizzling out. But there you go. Answers. Yay! Thoughts? Let me know on everything in the comments.